I was my good soul. The Book of Mormon, 1 Nephi chapter 1, verse 2, tells us that it is written in the learning of the Jews. In 2 Nephi chapter 25, Nephi is now telling us that he wrote after the manner of prophesying among the Jews. And thus was trying to emulate Isaiah prophesying of the Jews, learning of the Jews. And of course it all has to do with the particular Christ. So thus the Christ of the Jews. It is not the Christ of Christians. It is not another testament of Jesus Christ. So when you see Jesus Christ, you're supposed to put in the Jewish Christ. Jesus is a code concerning the manner of prophesying among the Jews. Which means the Gospels, likewise, are not literal history, and Jesus was not a real person. It's the learning of the Jews, manner of prophesying. The Gospels are prophecies. Messianic literature. But wait, I thought Messianic literature was about Jesus of the Gospels. Nope. Everything is about the latter days. So when are the latter days? We'd need a date, wouldn't we? How would the ancients give us a date? Because obviously they couldn't put 23rd September 2017 as the start of the latter days, could they? Or could they? In the book of Revelation, <coughs> chapter 12, John gives us a sign in the heavens. There appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And then you get to verse 5, and she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. Oh, it sounds similar to the Book of Mormon. Hey, wait, doesn't the angel tell Nephi in the learning of the Jews, manner of prophesying of the Jews, <coughs> about a, an apostle of the Lamb named John, who would write about the latter days. Hmm. Have the tree of life, the iron rod, and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. If you check the Joseph Smith translation, Revelation chapter 12, verses 1 to 17, footnotes for 1a, you'll see that verse 5 is moved to this star sign. And if you are remembering your astronomy from grade school, you would understand that the more celestial bodies you put into a conjunction, the more precise of a date you're going to have. So, for example, we're coming up on another solar eclipse on the 25th of October as we're finishing up the tetrad for 21 and 22, the full tetrad, not just lunar eclipses, the full tetrad. Stars fall from heaven, or the... <coughs> Sun shall be darkened, moon turned to blood, stars fall from heaven, signs. Took me a while to figure that one out. Because you have solar eclipses, 
And then you have sun shall be dark and moon turn to blood, stars fall from heaven, which were separated from solar eclipses. And I was confused on that until, oh, that's it. But, uh, yeah, the more precise of a date you get. But uh, solar eclipse happens all the time. With this tetrad last two years, there's going to be four. Four solar eclipses, four lunar eclipses. Happens all the time. How do we know that this is the latter days? Well, that's why it's important to have a start date and a finishing date. So that we know the time period of when all of the prophecies are supposed to be fulfilled. And so, this right here is a very precise date. It only happens once in all of existence. 23rd September, 2017. So, go to your Book of Mormon now. First Nephi, Chapter 1. After being told it's the learning of the Jews, we find out later it's prophecy. A prophecy we find out in the story of Lehi in verse 8 that he was carried away in a vision and he saw the heavens open and there's God sitting upon his throne verse 5 from Revelation 12 and he sees the Sun at noonday coming out of heaven, 12 others following him. Oh, Revelation chapter 12, sign in the heavens, 23rd September, 2017. The Book of Mormon, as prophecy, is starting off in the year 2017. So what then would for it came to pass in the commencement of the first year of the reign of King Zedekiah, or Zedekiah, king of Judah. Hmm. Because it's not Jerusalem, is it? It's not Babylon, is it? It's not Zedekiah, is it? It's prophecy. <coughs> so what happens? in the United States. What happened in 2017 concerning the reign of a king? Well, we don't have kings in, in America, Travis. That's only that that uh, King Charles III stuff. Uh-huh. Sure. So when the Book of Mormon talks about king men who seek to overthrow the constitution of Mosiah, shall hang by a thread and constitution hang by a thread. Anybody familiar with that? It's actually Brink of Ruin, 19 July 1840B in the Joseph Smith Papers. Yep. Title of Liberty is Prophecy. Don't worry Mormons, you missed it. Many of you sought to destroy the constitution and tear that final thread. Good job. You missed the Exodus, too, by the way. 600 years from the time Lehi left Jerusalem. The Exodus. But 600 years, Travis? Yeah, it's a little bit trickier. But it's very clever. Because it was 8 April 4 CE. Which was 2020. Years before the final day of the latter days in Revelation 19. Also Samson, Jewish prophecy. It had nothing to do with a real Samson who just happens to be translated as Sun King. It has to do with solar eclipses, which not only give us precise star dates, because it tells us which constellation each of the solar eclipses, and there's three deaths, three solar eclipses, but it also tells us where they would occur on Earth when they occur in the constellation. 
So are you over with it? You intrigued? Or have you given up and said, nope, church is true. You're false, Travis. <laughs> Book of Mormon's not true. Joseph Smith is not true. The living church is true. Jesus is true. Okay. <clears throat> he kills the lion. Which constellation is the lion? Yeah, anybody remember 21st of August, 2017? Maybe you'd remember it as Monson's birthday. Uh-huh. Yep. Constellation of Leo, right there at the King Star, Regis. That blew my mind. Blew my mind even more when I found out it was the ancient Egyptian uh, religious calendar New Year. whole bunch of stuff that you're missing when you're not actually studying your scriptures. If you're just reading it and believing it's literal history. Disregarding what the Book of Mormon itself says it is. And so if you're unfamiliar with the Egyptian story of the latter days, Horus battling Set, you can refer to the movie. They really screwed up the original story. They didn't stick to the book at all. <coughs> but Horace was wounded in his right eye, at least. That's referring to the solar eclipse on New Year's at the start of the battle. That's why it blew my mind. So then the second death we're going to have next year, 14th of October, 2023, death of Samson's first wife, along with her father, for an annular eclipse. Why an annular eclipse? Well, an annular eclipse is the ring of fire. The ring of fire. <clears throat> they were burned to death. And then the death of Samson to finish it off. 8 April 2024. And it's a bit complicated because that's not where the solar eclipse is. That's where Jupiter is. Who is the sun that is born from Virgin, Virgo. And, uh, and so the eclipse actually occurs on the back of the white horse. Revelation 19. Pisces, the actual birth of the Christ, of Mormons, not that bread constellation, because I've gone over it with it, but we'll go over it again. Matthew finishes up in chapter 1, quoting from Isaiah, which is telling us about 23rd September 2017 of John's Revelation chapter 12. And so here you have, now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Bethlehem is the house of bread in translation. The house of bread star is in Virgo. And it's at her left hand <coughs> that is holding the sheaf of wheat. <coughs> Stalks of wheat. Right there at her womb. So when Jupiter finishes retrograding within her belly, he walks right on out to be born on the 23rd September 2017. So it's not Herod, is it? It's not Judea, is it? Isn't it interesting how Judah and Utah are phonetically the same? And so it's not wise men. Oh, we're getting a different sign in the heavens now. What was the author thinking? This is Orion's belt pointing to Cirrus, Sirius, the star of Horus, the dog star. Is somebody smoking in here? What the hell? Don't set off the fire alarm. Dear God. Yeah. 
Or maybe it's dinner. No, we're an hour away from dinner. Somebody better not be smoking. <laughs> so, and if those fire alarms go off, I'm going to be pissed. So that's, that's what the church has been holding back from all of you. What Christianity has been holding back from all of you. As Constantine was the one who held it back from everybody. Turning the Gospels of literal history. As Brigham Young turned Joseph Smith's Book of Mormon and the writings of Joseph Smith. <coughs> from Joseph Smith history. Into literal history. And I did this series about the five different views of each of the things from the Joseph Smith history. That they weren't intended to be history. They're a matter of prophesying to the learning of the Jews. He's talking about the Mormon who is to be the Christ in the latter days. And so it's not Jesus you replace him with the Mormon that Joseph Smith talks about. And he's not born in Bethlehem he starts his ministry in Utah, 23rd September, 2017. Very big difference. It's not the Jews. He's not the king of the Jews. So, I can go to section 103, verse 16, if you've not been watching my videos. Therefore, I will raise up unto my people a man. Who's my people? Who shall lead them like as Moses? Where does it come from? Oh, right. Joseph Smith history. Angel Nephi coming to Joseph Smith. Talking about the true Christ after denouncing the false Christ in the first vision. Sun at noonday. That's him. That's his name. Amen. Emmanuel from Isaiah. Language of the Egyptians. The Egyptian sun god. Oh, that's why it's Samson, the sun king. And so yes, he, Joseph Smith is referring to Acts rather than the Old Testament passage of Deuteronomy chapter 18 verses 15 through 18. Man like Moses he calls him a prophet. And Joseph Smith says that that prophet is the Christ. <clears throat> That's who Mormons are supposed to be looking for. But don't worry, you missed the Exodus in 2020. 600 years from the time Lehi left Jerusalem. So, now we've got the second attempted coup of our government with climate change destruction for which you will go to the wrong location because you're not watching my videos or you're watching the older videos before I found out about 19 July 1840 B in the Joseph Smith Papers. And so, yeah, you're going to go to the wrong Bountiful. That's the Danite Bountiful. You're supposed to go to X marks the spot of the first and third day of darkness. <sighs> Where they cross over America. That's why we know it's America, in case you hadn't caught on. Solar eclipses are not only a date from a constellation. They're also the place on Earth where they cast the shadow. The shadow of death. So, yeah, don't worry. All is lost. Utterly wasted, as Joseph Smith warns. Because you didn't study your scriptures. 
or you were denied watching my videos because YouTube silenced and censored me. <coughs> it's just strange that the church silenced me after getting 40,000 for the wrong place to return to. <coughs> but that video, I was forced to do the video by the wife that I had at the time. The woman who cut my hair and betrayed me. And we were sealed in the Salt Lake Temple room number 13 at our wedding feast at the Lion House next to the Beehive House. She demanded to know the exact date of the exodus because she didn't want to walk. <laughs> no need to worry now. We all missed it. So. <clears throat> yippee ki -yay. So yeah, if Mormons missed the Exodus, why should they even care about who this Mormon Christ is? They don't care. Nope. They have no interest in him. They'd rather believe in Jesus. So, yeah, what's the point of him coming out and disclosing himself and showing how he fulfilled all the prophecies about him. <coughs> if Mormons aren't going to even believe. It'd be like Jesus when he goes into the Jerusalem temple and announces, I'm him. <laughs> After reading Isaiah. <laughs> here but yeah that's what Constantine purposely did in turning Jesus into literal history and the Gospels into literal history well now Christians believe that the Jews actually murdered their Christ and so the Jews were chased around Europe because of that hatred of the false accusation because they screwed up the scriptures and the nature and character of true Christ who was Jewish manner of prophesying learning of the Jews they were smoking Dear God alrighty I just I don't care anymore to quote Phil Collins because section 45 will end with this <clears throat> so you have 48 that talks about Jesus because Joseph Smith certainly isn't talking to Mormons and saying I'm going to prophesy after the manner of prophesying among the Jews the learning of the Jews I'm not going to prophesy. This is literal. <laughs> yeah. Puts his foot on the mount. Has wounds in his hands and his feet. Mormons laugh. Mormons mock. Mormons scorn. Mormons watch him for iniquity to falsely accuse him. <coughs> and then he'll be asked what are these wounds in your hands and feet it's me <laughs> I'm the orange Jesus <laughs> did you catch that that was the other week this past week <laughs> I'm the chosen one it's him he's here Nope. Nope. John has a different designation for him and the false prophet. Yeah. And so, yeah, Mormons aren't going to do verse 53. They don't care about him. <coughs> I 
and thus Satan won't be bound the church shut down and the parable of the ten virgins won't come to pass on 8 April 2024 wedding supper feast of the lamb at the temple because there is no temple you didn't leave for the exodus to build it less than two years away but down in verse 66 it would have been called the New Jerusalem <laughs> a land of peace city of refuge a place of safety for the Mormons of the Sun God at noonday why I just don't care anymore because instead we've got the the second coup of the government and then uh, the the natural disasters climate change destruction that'll change the whole face of the United States it's already done it with Ian in Florida we got more to come because of the day that she'll burn is an oven can you guess which bicentennial date that would be Intent. <laughs> <laughs>